So you're getting pretty good hitting your irons. Now you want to learn how do I hit my three wood. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. With the swing that I teach, the Your Simple Golf Swing Method, it's the same swing for every club in the bag. You may have heard different videos that are out there that try to teach you a different way to swing your fairway woods or swing your hybrids and they talk about how it's got to be more of a sweeping motion and they come up with some weird drills that you need to learn so that you can learn how to do this different swing. The fact of the matter is that sweeping motion is built in to the Your Simple Golf Swing method. Let me explain why. When we're hitting an iron, here's a, fi or a, a pitching wedge here. We're supposed to be coming down on a downward blow into that ball, especially the shorter the iron, the more of a down, downward blow. Well, the way we achieve that isn't by changing our swing. The way we achieve the downward blow is simple, simply the ball position as, as it relates to our feet. With a pitching wedge, I'm going to line up with that ball a lot closer to the center of my body. It'll be just a little bit forward of center. And when I line up my hands, because that ball has moved back and because I want to maintain the loft on this club, my hands are actually going to be in front of that golf ball at a dress. And then when I come in, it's going to be no different than any other club in my bag. Let me demonstrate one for you here. So that ball is just forward to center. Might be hard to see with the angle of the camera. And there was pitching wedge. So now with every club in the bag, we're going to move from the pitching wedge up. We're going to move about a half inch forward in our stance. So this was a pitching wedge. Next club would be the nine iron. We're going to move it up an inch and we're going to go to the eight iron. The eight iron, we're going to be an inch further forward than what we had the pitching wedge, half inch further forward than what would be the nine. And we're going to do the same swing. Okay, now as we move through the clubs, we'll move another inch forward, go to the six iron. Because, we're, because we bottom out in the same spot with every club in the bag, the downward blow is going to start to decrease as we get to the longer irons. With the five and the six iron, it's almost going to be pretty close to a neutral blow, just a, a hair left in that downward blow. So here's the six, a little further forward. And then we're just going to skip over the five and the four and go right to the three. By the time we get to the three, we really don't have any more downward force coming into the ball, so to speak, or downward angle. Still have plenty of force coming into it. Now, as you can see, when I line up, it's further forward. Now my hand is pretty much even with the ball. I'm maintaining the loft on that club. There's less of a forward lean because that, that ball is further forward in the stance, but the swing is the same. It's the exact same swing. Then by the time we've made it all the way to our three wood, we're considerably further forward in our stance. And because of that, now we have passed the bottoming out part. We're, we're on a flatter spot here hitting the ball and then we start going up. So this is where the natural sweeping motion comes in. You see, I really haven't spread my feet any further apart. When I line up, now this hand is actually to when I square up the club head, now the shaft is actually pointing back this way just, just ever so slightly. So now when I put my hands on the club, they're actually behind the ball. I'm still doing the same swing. I'm still going to bottom out somewhere around here and it's going to travel forward into the ball and then the club will start coming upward. It's all a matter of the ball position 
and the design of the club. Same swing, same exact swing that I did with the pitching wedge. Let me show you the pitching wedge again. Now, with the three wood, with the pitching wedge, we're right here with the three wood. Club is much longer, of course. With the three wood, the ball positions way up here. So there it is in relation, pitching wedge, three wood. So we'll move the three wood out of the way for a second. Get up closer to the pitching wedge. Hit the pitching wedge shot. Same position, roll that ball back into place, line up the three wood, hands now are a little bit behind the ball, It's the ball's really off this heel, the driver would be off the instep. Not swing with my best form today, but I still hit that solid. And now we'll move to the driver. Now with the driver, since we bottom out in the same spot that we did with all of our other clubs, our driver, because it's so far forward in our stance, is actually gonna be on a slight upward path when he hits the ball. That'll help launch it up into the air. I play with a nine degree driver. It's an adjustable, but I keep it neutral at nine, nine degrees. So, don't get caught up in trying to learn a different swing for the different clubs in your bag. If you learn the Your Simple Golf Swing Method, you'll see you only have to learn one swing and you use it for every club in your bag. All you do is change the position of your ball in your stance. I hope that helps you out and clears up any confusion you may have had. Thanks. Have a great day.